Hi guys, today we are going to study momentum and how momentum is conserved in an explosion. So momentum P is a product of mass M and velocity V. So P is equal to M times V. In an explosion, we have generally two conditions. One, one mass initially at rest explodes into small masses that travel at different direction. And second one, which we'll be using in our case, in our example, we have two masses combined both initially at rest then explode and the two masses will travel at different direction so the key points are initially at rest means velocity at initial is 0 meter per second because momentum p is equal to mass times velocity so mass times zero give us the momentum is zero kilogram meter per second. So total momentum for explosion at initial and at final should always be zero. So that we can say momentum is conserved or unchanged. So we are going to investigate this using software named Tracker by VK Group from University Pendidikan Sultan Idris. Here is the video showing two trolleys combined initially at rest and we put a firework in the middle. So when the firework explodes, it will push trolley A which have mass of 740 gram to the left and push trolley B mass 720 gram to to the right let's see the video first boom as you can see in this video our indicators for trolley A broke during the explosion because of that, I will track the movement for trolley A and trolley B using the wheel instead of the indicators. Because of that, in our graph, we will see that initially both trolley will look like they are some distance apart. But that's fine. Let's see the video again. Boom. And so, I will track the movement of the trolley. And so, tracker track the wheel of both trolley A and trolley B. Let's see the graph. So, when the explosion occur, before the explosion, we see that the trolley have some distance apart because the wheels are distance apart. And when the explosion occur, tracker track the movement of trolley A to the left, so it has negative displacement, and trolley B to the right, so it has positive displacement. So, because we have a graph of displacement against time, so we can have the velocity from the gradient of the graph. Let's see the velocity of the trolley. So, after the explosion, trolley A moved to the left, so it has negative velocity, and trolley B moved to the right, and so have positive velocity. We will be studying 
at this part and at this part for tr both trolleys because at this part both trolleys have almost a constant velocity and we will prove that the momentum the total momentum initial and final are zero this is the graph of momentum as we can see over here because velocity of trolley A is negative so around this part it has a momentum of around negative 1.7 let's see for trolley B it has momentum it has momentum of around 1.7 as well so negative 1.7 plus 1.7 give us the total momentum of 0 so again total momentum at initial because the velocity is 0 so give us the momentum is 0 and at final in our case negative 1.8 plus 1.8 give us zero momentum as well so momentum is conserved in an explosion enjoy bye